If you have a passion for telling the world about a product or service you love and encouraging other people to buy it, you should learn how to write a marketing resume. That way, you can land your ideal role within the marketing field. Keep watching to learn everything you need to know about creating a marketing resume. This video is sponsored by ZipRecruiter. If you're looking for a job, ZipRecruiter can help. ZipRecruiter makes it easy to apply for jobs with a single click. You can also upload your resume to their resume database so that your resume is searchable for the thousands of recruiters and employers who use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter is also free for job seekers. Click the link in the description below to get started with ZipRecruiter today. What type of resume should you use? Typically, the chronological resume format that highlights your most recent work experience works best for marketing resumes, but it can depend how much experience you have. What's unique about a marketing resume? A marketing resume is much like any other resume in that it showcases your abilities and achievements in an attempt to secure an interview for a position. However, it stands out from the rest because you specifically write it to help launch or advance your career in marketing. Now let's dive into everything that should be included on a marketing resume. Up first is your name and contact details. At the top of your resume, you should always include your full name, a professional email address, and your phone number. That way, a hiring manager or recruiter can see how to connect with you. In addition, if you have an awesome LinkedIn profile or a portfolio of relevant projects or an impressive website, you can also include links to those there. Next is your resume objective or summary. Recruiters don't spend much time reviewing each resume, so you must capture their attention immediately to keep them reading. You can do that by crafting a concise and compelling resume objective or resume summary that highlights what makes you noteworthy. If you're new to the workforce or marketing, you should opt for a resume objective that showcases your skills. But if you're an experienced marketing professional, you should go with a resume objective that impresses your reader with your career achievements. Next is your work experience section. This section should take up most of the space on your marketing resume. In most cases, you should present your work history in reverse chronological order, working backwards from your most recent role. Each entry should include your title, the company's name, dates of employment, and bullet points that feature your accomplishments. Next is your education section. If you've worked in marketing before, there is no need to add too much detail here. Your degree, school name, and date of graduation will be perfect. But if you're a recent graduate or a newcomer to the line of work, it's a good idea to include some supporting points like relevant coursework, internships, or other activities. What should be left off a marketing resume? Leave off any photos of yourself or anything that doesn't position you as the ideal candidate for the marketing role that you want. It's always a great idea to include some skills on your marketing resume. Here we've included a few skills that you might be interested in checking out. You can see a full list of skills that we recommend for marketing resumes in the link in the description below. Hopefully you now have a firm grasp on how to write a marketing resume. But if you're still feeling baffled, take a moment to explore our preferred providers for the best resume writing services. You can click the link in the description below to learn more. These companies can help you create a compelling resume that you can use to apply for positions on ZipRecruiter and other job boards. You can get started with ZipRecruiter for free by clicking the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.